In this lesson, we're going to talk about the different number properties. So the first one that we're going to go over is the commutative property, which states that the order for addition and multiplication does not matter. And so if we look at the general equations for this, this would be like a plus b is the same as b plus a, and then a times b is the same as b times a. And if we look at some real number examples for this, we have 5 plus 3 will give us 8. And if we did 3 plus 5, that will also give you 8. And then for multiplication, 2 times 3 will give you 6. 3 times 2 will also give you 6. So that just shows that for multiplication and addition, the order does not matter. And so f for subtraction and division, because the order does matter, you cannot apply the commutative property. And then next is the associative property, which says that for addition and multiplication, the grouping of the numbers doesn't matter. So again, we have the general equations with different grouping and you'll get the same result. So if you look at real number examples, we could have 2 plus parentheses 3 plus 4 is equal to parentheses 2 plus 3 and parentheses plus 4. So for the left hand side you can see we're going to get 2 plus 7 to give us 9 and then for the right hand side we would get 5 plus 4 which again gives you 9. So that just shows um, that the order or the grouping doesn't matter. We'll fill in this top part too just so you can see. But um, and then for multiplication it's the same thing. We can have 2 times parentheses 3 times 4 is equal to parentheses 2 times 3 and parentheses times 4. So here we're going to get 2 times 12, which is equal to 24, and here we're going to get 6 times 4, which is also equal to 24. And again, for subtraction, subtraction and division, the order will matter, so you cannot apply the associative property to those operations. And the next is the distributive property which looks like this. So basically it's like you can kind of draw a little arrow showing how you're multiplying through your parentheses. So an example of this would be like if we have 3 times parentheses 5 plus 2. Again, we're going to multiply that 3 times the 5. And then we're going to add that to the 3 times the 2. And so that is how you would do the distributive property. And this also works in reverse where you would factor something out. So if you were given 4x minus 8, you could do the reverse distributive. And we could say, well, we know that a 4 goes into both of those numbers. So if we take out a 4, factor it out, we're left with x minus 2. So that's kind of reverse distributive property. And then next is the inverse property. And for addition, this says that a number plus the negative of that number is equal to 0. So the additive inverse of 54 would be negative 54. And then for multiplication, the property says that a number multiplied by 1 over that number is equal to 1. So the multiplicative inverse of 7 is going to be 1 over 7, or it's just it's reciprocal. And so when you have a, a number combined with its inverse, we get the identity. And so now if we look at the identity property for addition that says a number plus zero is just equal to that number. And then for multiplication it says that a number times one is just equal to that number. 
So this is how the different properties um, play out and you can use this um, these properties when you're simplifying expressions.